So let me introduce our next speaker. Uh, we've been hearing a lot about synthetic content recently. And one thing for sure, we also heard about it in our discussion, right? So that original content might not be called original content in the future and whatnot, right? So now we will have a presentation which will talk a little bit more about synthetic content and how businesses can produce mass content. Because let's face it, actually the trends not only on TikTok but on all different social medias are coming up very fast and they're also dying out very fast and the new trends come in again, right? So how can businesses keep up with so much content that they need to produce daily, right? There's lots of new trends and all these businesses, they need to produce new, 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 new content. And I think in the future, we'll see that a lot of percent of all the content made will be synthetic content. So let's give a round of applause to David Asmatachunas, Technical Data Analyst at Sunrise, Chairman of the Board at the AI Association, and the founder of AI Connections. The stage is yours. Hello. Okay, hello everyone. There's a lot of people. Thank you for coming today and thank you Linkedis for an amazing event. Um, today I have a very interesting topic, uh, synthetic content. And this presentation would be very chill, visual, so no, not a lot of numbers or something like that. So I will show you what company is creating right now using AI and how you can use AI in the future or maybe right now. So, before I, uh, I start, I want to ask one question. Karina also mentioned this, so probably you know uh, already uh, the answer. So how much data we are like producing every day? If your answer is a lot, yes, that's <laughs> correct. It's uh, 328 million terabytes. Just amazing, huge number. So when we, what we're doing every day, so basically 4.7 billion photographs upload every day. All the traffic on internet, 65% of videos, like any kind of videos. And all internet users are mostly on social media. So the content is pretty important to show yourself and they will show you how. So we have old media, basically TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, from like 50s, probably all these media would be like dominant one. Uh, after like social media boom, we have social media search engines, ads, influencers, which is like change uh, marketing like from the ground. And right now we go into like new phase, which is synthetic media and content. So what is the synthetic media and content? So basically it's video images and text or voice that be fully or partially generated by the computer, which means like AI. So and where we where we are right now basically. Last year was like this innovation space, uh, this is like innovation adoption graph. And basically last year we know we all uh, find this new or like generative AI. And right now we are in this early adopter phase, which is most of the companies starting using, trying to start to find like a strategy that mostly will uh, bring the most value for them. So also another question, uh, so what we can expect here? On the peak uh, after like three or five years. So by the experts, uh, forecasted that 9% of all internet would be generated by AI and AI content. So how we identify it, it's like pretty hard, as I mentioned. We don't have like any classification tools, but we can also say right now which image is like generated by the journey and just like be popular. So I will talk today about like this uh, five topics, like synthetic images, videos, AI generated text, AI influencers, and details and how all these things could help you to improve your branding and create something uh, more interesting. So synthetic images. When we talk about synthetic images, most of you uh, will also mention and show like very beautiful uh, visualization of the woman. Uh, so we talk about mature. Like most popular uh, application, probably generative AI, only run by less than 20 people and like monthly revenue of them is like one billion. 
So, and this is best showing how generative AI is uh, the evolution of generative AI. So this is starting with version 3 last year, February. And right now we have version 5.2, which is basically like very realistic. And the first version is not that good. So with that, it's come like also that companies start looking, okay, this is very good. We can create like more things. And they did. So uh, the first one, like last year on April, that OpenAI released DALI to like the first commercially available model, um, companies start like completely using from like basically first day. So KitKat was like very good example. The pop is not very good, but they create something and they are uh, pushing on that high. Then Haynes, yeah, they ask uh, people to create how they imagine how like the sketch should look like. It's like quite old industry and like the the packaging of Haynes kind of iconic from that case. So they ask and uh, people using mid-journey create like different visualization, visualization for them. Uh, also Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola was like the, probably the first contract for OpenAI that uh, uh, most like Coca-Cola marketing department fully right now running on OpenAI products like DALI, ChatGPT, Whisper. And then the first campaign they started was like this picture like the AI contest, um, and this is my picture generated by Maturity. So you can see like the, the difference between like Dali and Maturity. Maturity is like way ahead of time uh, compared to Dali. But like companies start to create like these different art contests to like show the brand more and thus flood all the social media with like this synthetic data. Then fan comes along when they see that, okay, the journey is creating very cool designs. Why do not create something for Nike? So this is collaboration between Nike and different <coughs> on how like the sneakers should look like by then. And also like uh, the store in the middle of the art. Of art. Mm -hmm. So this is like fun start making like content for companies, how like different things should look like. That was like pretty interesting case. And then also new technologies will come how you like represent brand. This is like control net, stable diffusion technology where you can change your brand in a different environment. And people start like experimenting and doing this experimentation with famous branding, they like flew more of, of, um, of synthetic media. Uh, Lithuania also doing quite good. This is like commercial by Paragolas. So they also did like this kind of contest uh, when on social media, right? How you can imagine like how a new chocolate should look like. And they generate this with mid journey version 4. Uh, what people basically saying. And also uh, OSS, other like not this standard company, uh, do also visual, so if you, you can like them, on the, follow them on LinkedIn, and they're doing like pretty good content using their, so that's why it's pretty interesting. Okay, then fashion magazines. So first one was Cosmopolitan, like last year, then Vogue, uh, created a couple of magazines, and this is the last one by Glamour. So the, this girl was generated using uh, generic AI by the photo of like famous. So this is what's like kind of another way how we can implement and create this and using this for branding. That from now on, AI could like generate, if you have like a picture of the model, you can generate like whatever magazine cover you want. And this is kind of like role a bit when like Midjourney uh, introduced the function called Describe. The so prompt engineering is basically the skill that you learn how to tell model specific things and get like the result you want. So but like when you start doing prompt engineering it's like pretty hard to get a good result, especially on mid-journey. So mid-journey present this specific uh, function called describe. So basically you upload an image, you get a description of the prompt and then you could generate new pictures about the brand. So brands start doing this, this is my generator for Starbucks. It's mostly working the best with already known brand, but you can try it for your own, and I think it's good, like, great, very uh, amazing results. 
Uh, then flair AI. So this is like a new trend probably for companies branding, uh, like to change. Um, this is like the product, and they can change like basically the branding uh, by like specific customer. So if I really like to hire, probably you add this commercial, or if I really like to uh, lay on the beach, maybe Beatles could be on the beach or on the festival in somewhere so that you can use it. And also other one, Clip Drop one, and like they are competitor for uh, Photoshop, they include a lot of things, how you present your brand using like generative AI, and you can like basically float uh, all the media in these generated pictures. And yeah, so what future look looks like? So we probably will have uh, like this generic, uh, generative AI uh, cameras that we can share and generate different <laughs> content with that. And I really think that iPhone probably will have this feature in some future that you can like generate. This is only the starting right now, but uh, they probably will have it. There's and yeah, and this prediction, like content creation will drop more than like 50% in like next three years. With all like the things we have right now, like content managers can create a lot of different content. Um, and you don't need like graphical designer and copywriter. So uh, yeah, you, you it's not changed, but you create more like that. So, okay, so because so we uh, strict on time, so synthetic videos. I already talked about mid-journey. So another company called uh, Gen2 or Runway, they create model Gen2 that you can like basically from text generate the video. And the, the new tool uh, presented like last month was that you can upload the mid-journey, like high quality picture, and they can create like basically commercial for you. So this was very cool. I, I, I want to try this and I create like this commercial for those that they presented in 2021. So I just show them and they have like very interesting response. So they say, sweet, the marketing team is going on a long holiday. So I'm probably not, not, not right, but yeah, it's like on the show. But this is like eventually show you how these like tools could help you like achieve very good results. And then this one. scientist, and I hear she's the best. She's also a flight attendant, astronaut, Marine Corps medic, paleontologist, veterinarian. I stop here. If you want, you can watch it. Uh, this is a new talk. It's called uh, Barbara Heimer. It's just uh, basically combined two movies, where it's like all the hype was like uh, last month. And this was created using Mid Journey as a show, Runway ML, ID, and Level Lex for voices. So basically, you can create right now, like at this moment, tools that cost you less than 100 euros, the clip for your company or your product. Okay, so my prediction is like highly personal ads for everyone. What does that mean? That when you go on YouTube and you have like different ads, mostly of them are like very similar for every one of us. So imagine these ads and all these tools you can create special for special for everyone who's your interest. If you like hiking, you probably get like commercial uh, about hiking more in different products that present it like the hiking school. And there are also this thing, like Netflix, Black Mirror, like six season, uh, episode one, like this. <laughs> John and Sokol, uh, I did for uh, myself, but this is like what we're thinking about highly personalized content. Basically that the data what we have right now from social media could be used to create like commercials that we really like and we really want to buy new products. Okay, so synthetic uh, text. And I, I, I will not talk about ChatGPT. Um, I will talk about like the future after ChatGPT, so like intelligent assistance. So this is Override company presenting uh, their system, what it can do. So basically you can write like what you really want. And as a personal assistant, it can do like brand campaigns, find new people, uh, do content, and basically everything. So ChatGPT right now is on the boom, but this is like the next thing in the tech generation. 
So if you want, they like basically want to go to your like LinkedIn profile, find the people, write them a message, create content, and that, that's it. Let's have a lot of ethical issues. Uh, if we include a lot of bots about misinformation, that's why we need these classifiers. But this is like the, basically the future, and you can uh, basically right now use this. I think they already know product content. Okay, so in uh, like next five years, like these smart agents will be like everywhere. We, uh, all the companies will start using them, and so for research uh, to find like all the information because this bot could like work 24/7. Uh, promote campaigns and brand posts. So basically, you can include into internet if you want with all the information about the brand you want. So you can write on Reddit. Uh, you can like answer the message on Reddit. You can like do customer support and all other things. Okay, so uh, the last topic, I, I put these two things together because they are quite related, like AI influencers and deepfakes. And I don't really, like before I prepared like presentation, really know like uh, about these influencers that much. So then I see like this commercial like last week where like this little Michaela who's like uh, charging 10,000 per Instagram post, which was like crazy because everyone could do that. Uh, and she already has 2.7 uh, million followers, which is like, was, and they did Bella Hadid, and Bella Hadid like really liked AI because she was in book, uh, and right now with like this Calvin Klein commercial, which is like kind of controversial. Uh, but yeah, so she made eight figures, and someone made eight figures like just creating this AI influencer. But this was not like the most interesting thing. The most interesting thing was this. Magazine Luisa. It was like it's the first number one AI influencer in the world. It has 6.4 million followers, and it's created by Brazilian retail conglomerate. It's basically a retail shop who has its own like AI influencer who's writing for this brand and promoting in different pictures. And it 6.4 million followers. It's crazy. And really, what's other interesting thing is that Brazilians really like this. The top, from top 10 AI influencers, we are from Brazil. And they have more than 1 million followers. And this is crazy. This is how you can use this to promote your own brand. Then, like this deep Tom Cruise, probably all of you will see Shut this. Up, Mom, this cereal is a spot. Yes. Commercial with Paris Hilton. Uh, you also have like it's a whole series. Of oh, you know, this is just and, uh, the company was creating this is like metaphysics uh, AI. Okay. So the most main thing what they're doing is like creating deep face. <laughs> and this is like Tom Cruise. This is like his profile is deep Tom Cruise. This is like guy very similar to Tom Cruise, but they changed the face and right now they are like basically doing commercials and everything. So this is a very good example how you like put uh, some celebrity face on your face and you can do like TikToks and do other stuff and like make money from that. Uh, and basically, I read the article, I want to know like what Tom Cruise think about it. And he think that it's very cool and he really like that. So um, talking about this like deep fakes and influencers, uh, there was like a campaign uh, with uh, Lace and Lionel Messi. Uh, it was, I think it was like last season in Champion League, so they uh, create this deep fake personalized message for every fan. So basically you can go to like the website, click and he, uh, write your name and Messi could tell you something. Hey Daniel, what's up? My friend Kai has invited us to watch the big game on Wednesday. I hope I can make it. If I can't be there, Enjoy the game. Ah, and don't forget to bring the snacks. Ciao. Yeah, so you see that it's like the <laughs> defect, but it's very cool. This is how you can like send personal message and be like more like closer to that like celebrity. And this was created using like Synthesis, Synthesis companies doing like uh, deep fakes. And another thing is what they do is not, no, not only the face, but you can also do the voice. And this is by uh, David Peck. Malaria isn't just any disease. 
It's the deadliest disease there's ever been. So imagine that your like influencer can speak in any language and send a message special like in Latvia, Lithuanian, Estonian, in every country that you have followers or uh, do you have like some business interest? In. So yeah. So this is like the, the future. Uh, this is like a couple of mine. I created specifically for one conference that I'm presenting like shoot like traditional food. So how like James Bonds, majority is not like the perfect shoot but yeah. And how like Obama like do presenting specific thing. And you can buy these avatars, it's like pretty cheap. Like they cost 35.99 pounds if you want. And they are pretty good. Like they are, if you want to create like a new person. Specifically, you can buy these. There's like a metaphor, met, Metamorph HD, like the, the website. You can buy these, like, and you can use it, like, whatever you want. Hi, Bobby. Thanks for your interest in our ultra realistic avatar feature for your use case. I'm a Bobby girl. In the Bobby world, life in plastic. It's fantastic. You can brush my hair. Undress me everywhere. Imagination. Life is your creation. We will get back to you soon. By the way, this is an automated video message generated with my avatar. Hope you like it and talk soon. So this is what you can achieve. So this is like last week. Uh, it's Josh who presented this avatar. He's trained on his voice. And he's like publishing open source and people start doing like funny things. <laughs> what he's saying. So, uh, and yeah, so this is like what the future look like. Basically, like, if you want, if you have CEO, if, for example, Elon Musk, that cannot do like posts or something like that, you can create like a virtual version and then you can control them and that like marketing department probably have like uh, better content from uh, CEO. And yeah, so in the next five years, most of the companies we have will have this, uh, their own influencers because it would be like cheaper. These influencers, like 24 7, can create like 100 messages, not one for 10,000, but you can create and control this whatever you want. And okay, so what is happen after future future synthetic data? Because we already talked these practices already used in some way, but what like the research right now is generating. So uh, two months ago, um, and right now, like very hot trend in AI is like the things generated with your brain waves. So basically, you give people a picture, you put them in fMRI machine, basically this machine is like scanning your brains and checking the signals, and the, they can basically recreate from the signal like the images. So the brain content would be like the future future things like dreams, thoughts, ideas would be like the next streaming platform. And this is like uh, Black Mirror a little bit, but this is like very uh, already established area that a lot of AI people work on. I think like that this could be uh, the future. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you like it. So, I also want to ask about the lectures, so if you want, there's like some code generated also by AI. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Davidus. Now, do we have some questions? Yes, I see one over here. And another one. Hello. <laughs> so, keeping in mind everything you just uh, told us, what would it take for you to believe an alien invasion? <laughs> Basically nothing at this moment. Like, uh, we already have this hearing about that aliens already, like, kind of real. So, uh, what I'm afraid most about AI, I can say that, like, misinformation, like, you know, we can say, like, bots, like, millions of bots was, like, putting misinformation have deep fakes which is telling like misinformation so this is like most like like real case that will happen in the next elections and a lot of AI companies also working on that how to like fix this issue because if you include like social media with this synthetic content generated by like not very good countries that want to promote uh, 
misinformation for like people, they could easily do that like very low resources. So that's probably the most frightening. Thank you. Yeah, I um, my question is kind of connected to the first one. Uh, what are the lines that we should not cross when it comes to AI? Because now there are more and more companies that are building tools and everyone is signing up for those, especially the free ones. What are the concerns that we should be aware of? Yeah, it's a very good question. Uh, I don't really have answers. So, like, it's basically on your moral compass, you know, like, what you think. I know, like, a lot of people don't want to create like deep fakes on Midjourney and something like that. And Midjourney right now don't really let you create these things. This the image that I show like for Bama Dibershade, it was like uh, generated on May. And in June, Midjourney like basically cut this off if they identify that it's like specific phase so you want to break this basically after like uh, this uh, bow with like uh, some cool <laughs> Cool punk jacket. Uh, so after that, they uh, increase basically security to not let you like generate like this deep fakes. But there's also everything has like uh, uh, cheat code, something like that, to cheat like prompts and like this. Uh, 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 yeah. So basically, you can write specific prompt that would let you generate this. So and companies don't really have like right now specific tools that would help you to like identify that. So basically everything right now is us on our own uh, moral compass. Yeah. <laughs> All right, do we have any more questions? Yes, I see one. And two? One in the back as well. David asked maybe you can predict in uh, one year when we're gonna have another conference like this. Uh, you will be staying here on the stage uh, doing a uh, presentation but content will be full of uh, special programs, how to recognize deep fake, malicious uh, tools, um, some, uh, um, I don't know, in images, how to recognize that image is fake, that the content is fake, and this will be new trend where uh, we are gonna learn some new things how to live in this world. What yeah, do you think? I, I, it's I really just, just so. to know, just a vision. I really hope so that we have like some tools, at least identify text. So, but and image is probably more easier because right now uh, the journey is working on these uh, watermarks. I think they don't release these things because it's like pretty hard and it's a lot of ethical issues. It's kind of, you know, like double-edged sword, you know, you want to do something good, but eventually you did something that is not really good and ethical, and then it's like, you're always on this like kind of edge, like what you want to release, because with all the history of AI, like all the models, like this GP, when GPT-2 was released, uh, they also say this, that, oh, okay, this content, like most of the content was generated, these models, you want, don't, don't want to release this because it's like a lot, it could generate a lot of misinformation. But looking from right now, it was like kind of funny. Uh, but I think uh, in general, we need to solve this, and I think a lot of companies want to solve this um, called alignment problem uh, how <laughs> to generate the content that is uh, safe and ethical for, for everyone. So I hope uh, like next year I will have a good news. I think we had one more question in the back. Hey David, so uh, thanks so much for the presentation and of course all the ads that were generated look very, very awesome. But a uh, question from my side would be, did you did any comparison between the synthetic ads and the organic usual ones. What's the impression rates, engagement with the clients? No, I'm 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 engineer, not like a marketing <laughs> person. So I don't do like uh, I don't know what to promote. So if someone want, I can help them create like synthetic content, and they, we can check. <laughs> but yes. I don't really know. I hope so. Like in uh, next year, we will have like Hollywood Hollywood quality commercials that generate using the text. I really. 
claim that this could happen, checking like how uh, mid-journey is uh, the whole evolution of mid-journey, how quickly it's like become very good. So I hope next year we have like very good uh, commercials already uh, generated by it. Cool, thanks. Maybe we have some people in the audience who have tried it with uh, AI generated ads. Otherwise we can talk about that in a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So thank you so much once again. Let's give a round of applause.